Good evening, denizens of the internet. This month you're going to help me with a little social experiment. I have four people of varying backgrounds. Over the course of the next four weeks, three of them will die. Each week you will hear only a small piece of their life. The piece I allow you to hear may not be representative of their life as a whole, but you will have to judge based on what you are given. It is important to understand that I am testing specifically the effects of mob morality. Therefore, it was required that I find four people with similar family structures and around the same age. All of these subjects are unmarried and have no children. It is imperative that no sympathetic factors impede with the process. Their lives are in your hands. Subject A. Karen. Female, age 29. <gasps> <gasps> Quiet down, you'll wake the others. Who the hell are you? I'm the tester. The one running this little experiment. You have to win the hearts and minds of the people. What are you talking about? I'm recording everything right now. The people are under the impression that this is uh, simply a game. It is in your best interest to take a submissive and sympathetic tone. To hell with you! <laughs> now please, tell us your name. Go to hell. Before too long, I imagine. If you are unwilling to cooperate, you can be replaced. As it stands now, you have a one in four chance of surviving this encounter. Karen. Good, Karen. And can you confirm that you are single, childless, and currently reside in Ann Arbor, Michigan? Yes. Very good, Karen. Now, you were chosen along with the other three for various reasons. Uh, suffice to say, you met my criteria. Would you care to tell us a bit about uh, what you were arrested for in 2007? How the hell do you know about that? Answer the question, Karen. I stole a car. Yes, that's part of it. Do you remember what happened? Karen, I'm not here to judge, but the people will. Honesty is a virtue. I suggest you reveal it yourself before you force me to. I was drunk. I got into an accident. I sent a woman to the hospital. A mother of three. She died 12 hours later from internal complications. You spent five years in prison for involuntary manslaughter on a plea deal. I was just a kid. I had just turned 21. I got drunk and stupid. It was the worst thing I've ever done in my life, but it doesn't mean I deserve to die. Yes. A foolish decision brought on by impetuous youth. Perhaps others will see it that way. If so, I might see you next week. Wait, where, where are you going? Wait! Subject B. Mary. Female. Age 24. Yeah. Mary? Wake up, Mary. Where? What's going? Who are you? The head of this little experiment. A man of science, you might say. Please, just untie me. I'll do anything you want. Just let me go. Yes, you have experience offering more than you can afford. What are you talking about? You were given a very simple task of keeping an eye on a friend at a party, making sure she had no more than her limited drink. This was back in 2011. Care to tell me and everybody at home what happened? I had nothing to do with what happened to Christina. You told her that you would keep an eye on her. You said you would watch out for her and protect her. Tell us what happened. She... She was... She was led away from the party by a young man, a man you'll be happy to know that I have already dealt with, and was raped and left in a ditch outside your campus. There she died when, face down in the mud, she asphyxiated on her own vomit. I know it's horrible, but it's not my fault. You gonna kill me because of what she did? Only if that's what the fans want. You say you were not responsible for her, but then why did you agree to watch out for her? I agreed to get her off my back. She kept begging me and saying she wouldn't be able to go unless I did. Look, I know I screwed up. I keep telling myself it wasn't my fault. But I didn't mean for it to happen. Finally, a modicum of remorse. I wasn't even really her friend. It was stupid. Please, just do whatever you want to me. Just don't kill me. I won't do anything to you at all. At least... 
for one week. Subject C. Greg. Male, age 25. Whoa, whoa, hey. Listen, buddy. I don't know if I was seeing something or not. When I get drunk, I tend to get stupid, but I'm really not into this. You're a funny man. I'm afraid I'm not one of your fellow students, however. Look, dude, my folks have money. They'll give you whatever ransom you want. Just please, don't kill me or whatever you're gonna do. You're not going to die. Not yet, anyways. This is all part of a little experiment. Kind of like the one that you were always fond of putting on the internet. I think this is a little bit more than a prank, man. What would Catherine Aird have to say about that? (laughs) What are you, like her dad or something? Just a concerned citizen. You're a funny man. Lots of good jokes, good pranks, a lot of fun times. So when you thought it would be funny to take candid video of her during an unfortunate time in her life... Look, I got a lot of videos of everybody. It's not like I was specifically targeting her. I just happened to be in the right place at the right time. She decided that the only way to deal with the embarrassment was to end her own life. She's dead? You were not aware. Perhaps that's just as telling. You never cared about anybody but yourself, as long as they were good for a joke. Look, I swear I never meant for that to happen. Please, it's just something we do. And you have to deal with the consequences when they do. We'll see what the internet thinks about you. And who knows? Maybe we'll chat again next week. Subject D. Will. Male, age 28. Help! Help me! Yell all you want. Do you honestly think I would have removed the tape if you could be heard? Let me go. Let me go right now, you sick son of a bitch! Oh, yes. I'm so sorry to have interrupted your busy day of pushing papers. The one fucking night I worked late at the office. What do you want? Are you gonna kill me? The one month you work late at the office? I've never seen such an insufferable workaholic. Look, I've been saving money. Stop. Right there. You're the third person today to bribe me, and I assure you it gets wearisome. Third? You mean there are others? Four of you. And your fates are to be decided by the internet at large. You're broadcasting this? Audio only. For obvious reasons. I find it helps to salve the conscience if there's not a face to attach to the suffering. But they'll call the cops. Somebody will. And what will they tell them? They've been granted the chance to participate in something truly amazing. Most are convinced that it's a show, and those who aren't, well, no threat to me. So what is this, like some stupid snuff game show? It's an experiment, and a damned carefully planned one, too. Look, everybody, my name is Will... I'm simply going to edit that out, you'll realize this isn't a live broadcast. God damn it! Listen, I'm growing quite tired of this. Let's cut to the chase, shall we? I've begun by revealing everybody's sin. The reason I've selected all of you. We've had... Manslaughter, negligence, cyberbullying, but yours, I think, is the most interesting of all. What are you? You've all resulted in a life being lost, and therefore risk your own in this little test. But you were the only one who purposely ended a life. You don't know anything. January 3rd, 2009. Your grandmother was on the cusp of leaving you quite a bit of money, wasn't she? Oh, man. Look, she was old and sick. She wanted me to do it. Maybe. Maybe she told you in confidence that she'd grown tired of living. A woman in her late 80s, with dementia. Maybe you were just doing her a favor. Or maybe you were justifying a fantasy you'd had for a long time. She was in pain. Yes, very noble of you to end her suffering. But you certainly ended yours too. With your mother working all the time, taking care of her fell to you. Changing her bedpan, giving her meals and medicine. Until one winter evening when you decided to give her a little more than her usual dosage. Stop! I loved my grandmother. I hated to see her like that. You loved her money. Or perhaps I'm wrong. But we'll see what the viewers think of it. I'm not a murderer! Neither am I. <laughs>